This buff was from the last year, and if you look at it, it's not much. We kinda need more buff, but these changes did help Mino. Instead of hiding and trying to gank, just attack everyone if you don't have full rage. The glory of Minoan will be known across the land. Rage knows no bounds. Trying to use flicker on last lamb is a good trick to catch enemies. Rage knows no bounds. Mino can tank tower for a few seconds when you are on rage state and using second skill. But even with this buff, it's not enough if you don't have 40% cooldown reduction. So 10% from tank emblem with brave smite, magic shoes, and 2 main items. You either get oracle or brute force as your first item to counter enemy damage. Then the last 3 slots is optional. But the first 3 items are very important. But for my usual build, it goes like this. Although I always change the last 3 slots to have a better death against certain type of damage, I think he is decent now. But any kind of buff is always welcome. The only problem of Mino is that enemy can see your rage. They know if you are ready or not and he needs to hit an enemy for fast rage. But overall, he is a very good roamer that provides a lot of effects for the team. He can heal, amazing crowd control, he can tank tower, attack speed bonus and debuff and easy to play. So here's my Mino gameplay when I played him during my stream yesterday. They need some hammering. Do not try my face or rage. First blood. Minoan rage. No journey too far to find my people. Takes one swing at a time. Shut down. Ha! They need some hammer. 
that runs in me. They need some hammer. Life itself is a trial. Not even close to what the maze offers. And that's it for Minotaur. If you are also tank main like me, try it and have fun. Thank you for always watching. Victory!